Blah, blah. Oh, hey, Rodney. Welcome back. How was your vacation? Blah, blah. Good, good. Did you enjoy New York City? Blah, 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 yeah, I blah, thought you might. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, you bought what? Blah, 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 blah. You bought a bridge. Well, let me see this document, Rodney. Rodney, this isn't worth the paper it's written on. What makes you think you were going to buy the Brooklyn Bridge for 20 bucks? Yeah, I know it's got a notary on it. It's signed by IP Freely. What, what was Ben Dover not available? Oh, Rodney, Miss Lucinda didn't try to talk you out of this? Miss Lucinda went in halves. Well, listen, this isn't worth the paper it's written on, son. You've been took. Well, listen, tell you what. His ought to cheer you up. I'm going to make New York style onion red sauce. And y'all stick around. I'll show you how. Before we go any further, I'd like to remind you guys, please don't forget to mash that subscribe button, give me a big old thumbs up, maybe even leave me a comment or two, I sure would appreciate it. For this year recipe, you're going to need some olive oil, some salt, some chili powder, ketchup, cinnamon powder, garlic powder, a dab of sriracha, some water, and two medium-sized onions. Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Eating Good in the Woods, a channel that shows you just because you're camping doesn't mean you gotta eat like a hobo. Answer me this, what goes better with camping than hot dogs? Nothing. That's right. So today, to help soften the blow from Rodney getting took for 20 bucks, we're going to make that New York style red onion sauce that you see on the little hot dog carts. You know, you get your hot dog for two dollars, he puts the red sauce on it. Mmm! Hardly fit to eat it is. So we're going to start off with our mandolin slicer and going to get nice, uniform, thin slices of onion. A mandolin slicer will come in handy for a couple of reasons. Mostly because it's quick and it will make nice, uniform slices. About that size right there. Now let's get our cast iron pan and put in about three tablespoons of olive oil on a medium heat. To that, we're going to add those onions we just sliced up. Stir them in there real well, and we're going to let them saute for about 10 minutes. We're going to add a little bit of salt, about half a tablespoon, for two purposes. First of all, to season, and second of all, it'll help dry out those onions a little. Now let's keep them stirring. We don't want them to scorch. Say that reminds me, if y'all are looking for a way to support this channel, keep this here trainer rolling full of farm fresh content twice a week, why don't you slide over to my Teespring shop, get yourself a coffee mug or maybe even a t-shirt. But if you don't want to do that, how about you go to buymeacoffee.com and for the price of a cup of coffee, you help keep this trainer rolling. You can also visit boondockerswelcome.com. All of the links are in the description. Thanks a bunch. Now after about five minutes, we're gonna start adding our spices. A dash of each, chili powder, a little cinnamon powder, some garlic powder, or fresh if you prefer, and about another half teaspoon of salt. Let's give that a good stir. We're going to let them go for about another five minutes. When they start to look like this, it's time to move on to the next step, which is ketchup. About a quarter of a cup to half a cup. Now you don't have to do this, but I did. I put in about a tablespoon of sriracha sauce. and then a half a cup of water. Now let's keep this stirring and we're gonna bring it up to somewhat of a boil. Now 
Once it looks like this, we'll reduce that heat and let it go for about 10 more minutes. Covered, of course. Ah, Rodney. My mom doesn't like Rodney on account of all the trouble he used to get me in when we was kids. Okay, so after we've let it simmer for a little bit, we're going to reduce that heat and we're going to let that sauce get thick. It's already starting to look real nice. Now look at that. That's about right where you want it. probably ought to give it a little taste there make sure it's the right amount of heat the right amount of salt and it gets the thumbs up seal of approval so that's it folks it is done d-u-n done so you can take it off the stove top let it cool a little bit put it in a little container put it in your cooler or your refrigerator so when you go camping you can reheat it it'll be fantastic now listen before I do the great reveal here I wanted to add a couple of things First of all, I felt it need a little more ketchup, so I put in maybe another eighth of a cup of ketchup. And also, because I'm diabetic, I use a ketchup that doesn't have any sugar in it, so I took a little stevia powder and put it in there. But you do whatever it is you want to do, and of course, the sriracha, you can adjust that to any way you like it, as hot or as not hot as you want it. But now, folks, it's time. Look at that. Oh my gracious, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? But I think we need to give it a taste. What do you think? Let's have a look here. Take us a little fork full of this. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. That right there is hardly fit to eat. Mmm, but I'm going to keep going until I find a good spot. Take that on your next camping trip. Heat it up, put it over your hot dogs. Mmm! Everyone in the surrounding campsites are going to think they in New York City. Mmm! So that's going to be about it for this episode of Eating Good in the Woods. Ladies and gentlemen, I sure love y'all. You go on out there, be nice to one another. God bless. Bye.